Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll learn more about the Azure DevOps YAML pipeline. With this video, we'll try and understand how do we define your strategy to create a YAML-based pipeline with Azure DevOps Pipe. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you're watching PO Learner. For this demonstration, we are going to use our pipeline demo repository. And this repository contains the Terraform code, which we are willing to deploy to our subsequent environment in Azure. And to automate this Terraform code deployment procedure, we would like to set up the pipeline with Azure DevOps. Before we set up a DevOps, we need to know the individual steps which we would like to perform in our pipeline or even when we run it manually. So before we begin deploying the pipeline, here are the steps which you should consider are in your pipeline. With regards to Terraform, the steps could be, for example, deploy or install the Terraform. So this is going to be Terraform install with a version, let's say 1.0.0. .0. If you are running the Terraform with the latest version, you may not want to run the installation command. It's, it's optional. Next, you run the Terraform initialization command, which is Terraform init command, so that you initialize the Terraform code and it downloads the provider. Once the initialization is completed, the next command you would like to run is the Terraform plan command. So the plan should generate the outcome of the Terraform plan. So it could be, let's say, plan.output file, which will be generated as part of the Terraform plan. Next command we would like to run is Terraform apply. But before that, we actually would like to review the plan. So it's not immediately going to be run the Terraform apply, but we would like to review the plan first so that as a reviewer, I should have the ability to review my plan, which shows that what is going to be apply or what is going to be destroyed, what will be the resources which will be provisioned. And once a reviewer is happy and he reviews the changes and approves it, at the approval, I would like to run the final command, which is Terraform apply and you would like to apply the terraform changes maybe onto the specific environment for example this could be on the dev environment and then you could have another step subsequently depends upon or which, which has a dependency on the previous environment for example so i would like to deploy the same changes or same plan with terraform apply command onto the Terraform, onto my test environment. So these are the overall steps looks like when we would like to set up our pipeline into the Terraform. Now let's look at how do we configure these steps into Azure DevOps pipeline from the scratch. So first of all, we'll go to the pipelines We'll create a new pipeline by clicking here on the new pipeline section. I'll click here to choose my repository location. And we know that our host code into the Azure DevOps Git repository, and we would like to configure the pipeline with YAML. So I'll select this option. I'll specify my repository, which is this. I'll start from scratch so that we know we can see how we are building up our pipeline. First of all, I'll keep this trigger option as is, as we know that the triggers basically specifies the event on which this particular pipeline will automatically trigger. And this line of code shows that the pipeline will automatically trigger if someone checked in the source code onto the main branch of our repository, which is this repository. Next, you have the pool, agent pool, which is the image of the 
Ubuntu latest. So here we are going to keep it as is. But if you have the project who is willing to use their own custom or self agent, then you may want to use the agent name from the agent pool. For now, so I'll remove these steps from here. So the first thing we would have is the stage. So we could have the stage one which might be for the terraform plan for example so we'll call it terraform plan stage and within this particular stage we would have the job let's say job one and within the job one we would have the stage the steps different step steps step one could be terraform initialization for example step two could be terraform plan and then we would have another stage let's say stage two which will be terraform apply and here at the apply we will basically simply run the terraform apply command Or maybe we can call it as a Terraform apply onto the dev environment. So it will deploy to the dev. And similarly, we could have the stage three, which will have the TF apply onto the DST environment. So this is what we want to achieve from the pipeline configuration point of view. Now for this, first of all, as I mentioned, we need to have this particular stage. So I'll create the stage first, the stages, and inside this stage, we'll create our stage one, and which we can call it as the, let's say, TF plan. Okay. Similarly, I could have another stage, which is TF apply to, let's say, dev. And then within the stages, we could have the jobs as we have specified here. So let's create a job inside that and job we'll call as the TF build job. Okay. Similarly, I would create a job here as well. So these are my jobs and we will call it as the tf run okay now here with this job we would like to have these stages or the steps so we could say steps because we know that the in the job we do have these steps so for now i'm going to use the simple step let's say build job and here the under this we would have few more steps there are form echo deploy job this is the overall structure and within the individual step we would first of all will deploy to the different uh, will configure the different detail level of stages or uh, steps to our pipeline first what i want to do is i want to test this particular pipeline configuration just to test the overall structure so i'm going to check in the code that should run the pipeline as you can see that it has run the pipeline and we have two stage terraform plan and apply and that is what we wanted to do right so it's working fine next we would like to have the individual steps so let's to configure these steps or whether it is terraform or any other steps as you can see we have a bunch of tasks available here which we can configure and from these tasks we can choose the task which we need so at the moment i'm using the microsoft hosted agent pool and i'm using the ubuntu latest agent image from that agent pool so if you are using the default agent pools, then all the software, necessary software to run the application would 
automatically installed. For example, in this case, the Terraform would all already install on this particular agent. So I don't need to have the Terraform installation command, but if you are using the self-hosted agency or if you are using any specific version of the Terraform, then you might want to run the Terraform install command. So what you can do, you can simply search the Terraform and that would be the steps to run the Terraform. So you can specify the specific command, for example, and then you can add it like this. Okay, so that will basically in run the Terraform initialization and steps or the commands case I would like to just run the Terraform scripts so I'll just run the multi-line script that's why I'm using this pipe character and here I'll just use the echo command and I'll say Terraform init and with the next line I'll run the Terraform init command and here I'm going to use the display name just to have the display name at my individual step that's going to be the display name for my individual step i'll simply copy this same script section here and here i'll say terraform plan and i'll run the terraform plan dash out that which will be i'll just which will be terraform plan dot plan dot out file and that will generate the output as is next thing what we would like to do is we want to generate the or publish the output so for this we are not we cannot use the script we would like to run the built-in task so with this we'll use the publish task publish artifact build artifact if you do not have idea about the individual configuration for any specific task you can click here on the settings and you can specify the configuration option for that particular task with that the activity of the build job is going to be completed now we are into our second stage or which is our terraform apply stage and we want to run the terraform apply command with the plan output which we have run if we want to run the terraform apply with the same artifact which has been published in the previous stage so here in this particular stage we have published the artifact and here in this second stage we want to run the same or use the same artifact which has been published in the previous stage so what we need to do here is we need to download the artifact so there is a task available to download the artifact so you can simply use the download or type the download artifact so that will download the artifacts and then again you can go to the settings and specify uh, is it from the current build just because we are we want to use the same build to download the artifact what is the name of the artifact so we know that the artifact name is drop so we want to use the same name and this is the destination directory i'll keep the as is so it will be the same destination directory in which this artifact will be downloaded now we know that this will download the artifact under this directory so and this will be the folder in which this plan file will be created so what we want to do now is when we run this script we want to run the script at the same path and that's that's why we would like to create the working directory for example okay now with that working directory we know that the plan will be in the drop folder so i'm keeping the full path as in drop and that will fix that this is going to be the drop folder of my artifact okay now if i run the change let's see if it works fine i'll commit the changes so it's basically initializing the changes so if we just observe this this is how the changes looks like it's running the step number one tf plan and then step number within the step there is a job tf plan and then tf build and then we have the stages the steps called the initialization and plan and then we are publishing the artifact and then we have the next stage which is the ter terraform apply and within the apply we are going to run the apply job so here 
it's checking out it's trying to download the artifact and it has failed to download the artifact let's look at why it says that the this particular build id doesn't contains any artifact let's see why we haven't found any artifacts so first of all we need to check if there is any artifact being published via the previous stage which is the build step i'll go here I can verify here in this artifact folder and as we can see here there is no artifact has been published so let's see what we are missing in order to publish the artifact so here we are using path to publish as in the artifact staging directory instead of that we need to use a default working directory so there is a variable called default working directory that is what we need to use and that will work fine but what will happen here is it will publish everything into the as an artifact including all the files within that git repository and we don't want everything to be published here so what we are going to do is we are going to use another task and this time copy task here we can specify the default working directory as this and with the plan file we would like to see dot out so anything which has a dot out file that is what we would like to download and this is what where we are going to specify the plan file so that will copy the file now within that file we would like to so target folder i'll say it's a temp so it i would not i want to copy only the plan file from here inside the temp directory and i'll say this temp directory i want to publish as an artifact and the target folder name or the artifact name i want to give this as an artifact so let's run this now again and this time it should work so here we can see that it has published something or one published file is there which was not the case last time and if i expand this under the draw folder we have the plan.output file so that's what our artifact is and that is what we were looking for in terms of the artifact so the plan is completed we have the artifact what we need now this time it should download the artifact because it has successfully published and as you can see that the download artifact has been published uh, succeeded successfully and it has downloaded the exact output which we have run it so we are getting an error because our step one is run the terraform plan with this terraform version which is this latest version whereas the step two is running the terraform with the different version and that is the reason it's not able to use the same plan and that is one of the special case or a reason to use the terraform installation command to specify the exact version that will ensure that whichever terraform you are using to build the plan the same terraform version will use to apply the plan as well so that's really a use case wherein you should always use the terraform installation command especially in this case so i can simply go ahead and use the terraform installation command or the terraform installer and then i can specify the version so now we have the additional step which is for the terraform install and it's installing the version which we have specified and as you can see our deployment is succeeded both build and plan uh, build and apply and this is what we wanted to do this was about how do you set up or plan your pipeline configuration with azure devops using the yaml i hope you have found this useful if it is please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i'll post some more updates to the yaml and the azure devops pipeline so that you can refer those in case if you need to thanks for watching it see you in the next video